Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today, we're going to be doing all three of these pens in this tutorial. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't already watched my basic pen tutorial for epoxy and crystallac, I will link it in the description. Please go watch that before you watch this. I breeze through some of the steps on this tutorials. And I've created on Etsy a listing for all three of the water slides plus an SVG of the leopard spots that's gonna be used in this video. First, we're gonna be doing the cow print glitter swirl. So this is already glittered with white and epoxied or bright toned until smooth until this step. Here I've already printed out my cow hide water slide on clear water slide. And then you're gonna cut along those edges of the water slide just to get any extra off and put it in a bin of water. Have a rag or something to dry off your water slides handy. You'll notice when your water slide is ready, when it easily moves off that backing. Don't force it off that backing because you can distort your image, which you don't want to do. So how I lay my water slides, I keep the backing on as long as I can. I lay one edge and I rub it with my fingers to try to get out any water or air bubbles between the water slide and your pen. And then I slowly remove the backing as I turn my pen as I'm pressing, as I'm trying to get the water out from underneath the water slide. When I created these images, I made them slightly longer than the pen is needed. This is just for if you have a thicker pen from epoxy and whatnot, they will still wrap around the pen. When we're at the step, you're gonna just take a craft knife and cut it off. Once you have it on the pen, you're gonna to wanna to kinda of gently make sure everything is smooth, that you don't have any water between your pen and your water slide. You'll see that when you rub it, if it ripples, you either have water or you have air, which you need to have both of those out of the water slide so when it dries, it sticks to you, the surface of your pen. You're gonna to wanna to have gentle hands. If you are too rough with water slide, you can remove some of your ink. So I just took a craft knife and cut down that seam to remove that slight extra. I did do a sealant on this before I moved on to this step. You can do a coat of epoxy or crystallac if you would like. Here is just, I'm using crystallac glitter glue and I'm just making a swirl pattern. And then I'm adding my glitter. I don't want my glitter to be opaque. I kind of want it transparent. If you want it opaque, you'll need to paint along where you want your glitter to be. Here I'm just kind of cleaning up where the cowhide water slide is before I seal it. If you're crystal like users, you need to seal it with E6000 and smush your glitter. If you're an epoxy user, you can use clear spray paint. So here's a little trick if your pencils are getting stuck in your pens. Take a little bit of Vaseline and rub it on the pencil and then put it back in your pen. So now I'm adding my gold leaf. So I use Tacket straight out of the bottle. I don't dilute it at all and I kind of just take a paintbrush and dab randomly. And then I take my gold leaf once the Tacket is fully dry. I take a little sheet and I kind of dab it on where I remember it being sticky. Sometimes you might have to play around and try to find where it's sticky again because it dries clear, right? So once I have my entire pen with dabbed gold leaf on it, then I will then rub it and let it lay flat. This gives it more of a natural random look than Rubbing it as you put it on, I think tapping random pieces onto the sticky glue kind of gives you more of a natural look. If it doesn't work for you, do what works for you. Now 
Now I just take my finger and kind of lay those gold leaf flat and then rub along the edges. It will give you more of a distressed edge and it gives you a little bit more natural edge. Don't rub too hard because you can remove it off of the tacket, but that's why I do it straight out of the bottle, not 50-50 mix or anything. Um, so you can be a little bit rougher with it than the mix. And then once you're happy with it, you need to seal this gold leaf in. So I use CC DIY Quick Coat to seal the gold in. You could do a layer of Mod Podge if you want. You can do clear spray paint as long as you're not doing Crystal Lac because you have to degas it for 48 hours if you're using Bright Tone. If you don't do this step, you have a chance of it expelling the epoxy. And then you just epoxy or use Bright Tone until glass smooth. Here is it finished. It is gorgeous. The next one we are gonna be doing is the tooled leather over glitter. So you're gonna start with a glittered pen that has been used bright tone or epoxied until smooth. The tooled leather is already printed off on clear water slide. Your glitter is gonna show anywhere that you see the white right now. So you could even print this out instead of black Using brown inks, it will give it more of a leather look. That'd be really, really pretty. And then you're just gonna apply the water slide exactly how I did the last one. But I found cotton gloves on Amazon that makes doing water slides on these teeny tiny pens so easy. I will link them in the description. And then once it's wrapped, you're gonna have a slight overhang again I created this so if your pen's thicker than mine, it will still wrap it. You just take a sharp craft knife and run it along that seam. That small little overhang will come right off. So the image isn't 100% seamless because each pen is slightly different, but it is very hard to see where the seam is right there. Since you aren't able to do the upper edge on the pens with the water slide, I figured out a way to make it look completely covered. Take a paint pen and you're gonna just color in the design over that little edge. It's going to make it look like it is fully covered with this design. And then you're gonna just epoxy or bright tone like normal until it is glass smooth. Here's both of the pens with the same design on it, just different glitter bases. Now onto the leopard swirl blanket. Here is the printed out clear water slide again. You're gonna to wanna to pay attention to what is the top of the pen and what is the bottom of the pen. It doesn't really matter a whole lot since it's not words, but if you want a certain color of line to be at the top versus the bottom, that would be the only thing you need to pay attention to. And then you're going to apply it to the pen exactly how you I did the last two. And this pen was sparkly white glittered and epoxied or bright toned until smooth before this step.
once you cut off the extra, if you use your fingers and kind of pinch it together and you can kind of adjust it to make sure the lines line up. This one is a little bit more challenging versus the last two to make it look seamless on your pen. Make sure you get all the water out, or all the air out. Pen has a little ridge on the top. I just cut off that top section along one of those lines. So it just looks like it's another line from the blanket. I leave the bottom overhang on until the water slide is completely dry and then I take a craft knife and kind of trim that up. So I actually did do a layer of epoxy or, or bright tone before this. I am now looking to see if there's any weird issues that I pulled off ink from when I put the water slide on and there's one small place and I know I want to cover that with my glitter swirls. So I'm going to take crystal black glue. You can use Mod Podge, you can use epoxy, you can use spray glue. It doesn't really matter. It's just to attach your glitter. So I come back to that spot that I kind of messed up and I'm going to go up from there and then down. I kind of use the pen and turn the pen in my hand to get the best swirl. And then once I put the glue on, I kind of just spread it out. This is just the base coat. So I will be doing a second coat of glitter to kind of clean up this area. On the second coat, um, it's easier if you kind of pounce your paintbrush on top of the glitter instead of brushing it because it can remove your glitter sometimes. So what I usually do is I go on the edge and then pull it middle and then go to the other side and go on the edge and pull it to the middle. You kind of want to go somewhat fast on this because your Mod Podge or glue unless you're using epoxy, which will last a lot longer, will dry and then you won't get a solid coverage of your glitter. And then you're just gonna wanna clean up any loose glitter that's fallen onto your water slide before you seal it and then you epoxy or use Bright Tone and then gently sand it. My listing comes with two versions of these leopard spots this block version which is great for fully wrapping a pen or it comes with a small section which is basically like this and then you're going to be able to wrap it around your pen a little easier so i kind of just let whatever spot sticks stick and then piece it together after if there's another spot I like there. If I want to remove a spot there, if there's any extra on the water slide, remove them. You kind of just play with it. It's leopard spot, right? It's not 100% a pattern.
And then once I have all my spots on, I am then going to go through and remove all the middle sections. If you didn't already do this when you weeded, I usually reverse weed. So this always happens <laughs> later. I will seal this with CC DIY Quick Coat before I bright tone or epoxy until glass smooth. Here is a gold version of it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any comments or questions, please write them. I will write you back. Please like, share, subscribe. It really means the world to me. I threw in a bonus of this image, sized down perfectly in my listing as well.